Okay, so now we're going to move on to marquees. And those are basically um, different ways to just display text. Uh, you could have it scrolling, you could have it bouncing side to side, um, you could even change the background colour, um, all sorts basically. So let's have a go at making a scrolling marquee at first. And just for this example, we're just going to move this just to the side. Right, you could create it like here without a div, but like I said in the, before in the past tutorials, it's just easier to make it inside a div because you can just move it around wherever you'd like. So we're going to make a quick AP div. Once we've done that, just put it there, stretch it out as much as you want. Just going to make it just a bit bigger than the menu box we made. And we'll position it there. Once we've done that, go to split. And I've actually got some marquee codes ready already. So we'll just do the scrolling text. And what you have to do is you have to put marquee with the two arrows. And then your text. And then also close the marquee tag. That's it. Simple as that. To have scrolling text. So you copy that. And if you go onto the YouTube channel, um, this code will be provided, so it'll save you some time. You put it in there, and then welcome to VT for case 3. And it'll pop up there. So, you could save it, so Control S. And instead of pressing F12 all the time, you can actually use this feature right here which just basically allows you to view the website as it would be live but on this screen so there we go and you can go to design and then you can see it's scrolling and it should come back at the end there you go so that that's your marquee your scrolling marquee what we'll do now is we'll stop the live code on the live view so we'll go back and split. Now we're going to change that so we can have bouncing text. So from one side to the other. And for that, we'll need to add a behavior. Now behavior, there's all sorts of different behaviors you can have for um, marquees. And those will also be found on the YouTube channel as well. But for this example, we're just going to use alternate. Now that just means that it's going to be bouncing side to side. So from here to here to here to here. So if we just copy that code and we'll just move that much and we'll right click and paste and it should come up again. Right. So if we do control S again and live view it, as you can see it bounces. That's your bouncing marquee. Simple. Effective. And we'll stop that right there. And now we'll have a go at changing the properties within the marquee. So marquee as usual. And then you can change the width, the height, the direction, the loop. We've done it, we're gonna loop it twice. The scroll amount, which is gonna be two. And the behavior, we're going to keep the same. It's going to bounce, so it'll come back. So we'll change that to here. And obviously, in between, you can change the text to whatever you'd like. It's not going to be welcome to VT for case 3. It's going to be welcome to whichever site you're doing. So now if we do Design and Control S, make that a little bit bigger and if we save that again and live view it as you can see it's scrolling up and down 
so that's just how you create simple marquees, scrolling side to side, alternative, um, bouncing and looping twice. As you can see it stopped now because we've only looped it twice, but you can loop it as many times as you like. And in the next video I'll just go over some random features that Dreamweaver has to offer. Bye!